The 2023 vacation has officially begun. This way, come to deer camp, boys. Uh, I just woke up. It's like 7:30. My brother calls me and says, "I shot a big one." Good morning, hunters of Bannon. This is what packing a deer out in an epic rainstorm looks like. I think it's going down tonight. I didn't see a dang thing this morning. You see anything? Nope. About ready? <laughs> that's my that's my first buck since 2021. <laughs> oh. I'll take him. <laughs> uh. You got it. Uh. <laughs> oh! oh! Never mind, you ain't getting any. Some people call it deer camp, and some call it a much needed break from the grueling nine to five we call it the rutcation. For the last four years, we've taken this one week vacation during the first week of November to chase mountain bucks in the eastern part of Oklahoma. Although the mountains of Oklahoma don't provide the highest deer density in the state, they are always a challenge during this hunt in November. Throughout the last four years, we've had a lot of success during this trip. Jake and I started the tradition in 2020 when we shot two public land bucks in 24 hours. These were both our biggest bucks at the time and the biggest bucks we'd ever shot on public land. And so the tradition of the rutcation was born. In 2021, my uncle Justin and our buddies Jared and Jordan joined us to chase these mountain bucks in the first week of November. This year we had a full deer camp filled with laughs, pranks, and only through the grace of God, a handful of mountain bucks filled up our camp during that week long trip. In 2022, the luck continued as Justin shot the biggest public land buck any of us have ever seen in person. This 16 point non-typical buck had a beautiful frame and triple flyers off of his back G2s. Jake, Peyton, and I hunted hard that year but couldn't quite seal the deal on a public land mountain buck, but it wasn't from a lack of opportunity. It always seems like the mountain keeps score, and if you put in the effort year after year, good things and opportunities are coming your way. So in the summer of 2023, we hit the mountains hard, hanging, running, and checking trail cameras in the hopes of finding several mature bucks to chase in the fall. Here's my rig for last night, which wasn't too bad, but I did pull the plug out of my air mattress at one point and I heard it gushing and I had to fix that this morning. But I'll give you more of a detailed view on the camping situation later. But we're gonna get out in the woods. You don't show my camping situation? Oh sorry. <laughs> Jake has a fantastic camping situation. He's also feeling just really jolly this morning after See this? No plug required. Still soft. Had a blanket, a little pillow. I rolled the windows down, and then I figured because the moon was out and my pillow was white, the bugs were getting attracted because it was still somewhat bright. I'm smart. Throw the blanket over there, it's dark now. No more bugs. You're good. to the truck out about passed out but we made it and we're gonna go shoot some recurves and decompress really good day you know maybe for a little smarter we'd set them out when they're a little cooler but it is what it is it is uh august 25th probably one of the hotter days of the year and one of the hotter streaks of the year and we're down here on public land in oklahoma about to check our trail cameras i got laptop charging I got a beater laptop charging down there with my battery pack um, I've been charging my fan um, I got this new bed for 
my camper shell that goes over the wheel wells is pretty nice and it's almost one in the morning but I'm really glad that I got these lights installed because it makes it really nice in here but we're headed out to truck trail cams in the morning probably gonna get up about six and go get after it but that's the plan I'm here in the camper shell it's finally cooling off at midnight but we're gonna get after it in the morning and it's gonna be a pretty fun trip we'll take you guys along show you what uh what we got on trail camera hoping for a really good look we've been waiting about two months to check these so let's do it Broadheads. so good but I didn't see him shoot attack yeah that, that is true welcome back guys to hunter's <laughs> advantage do us a favor right off the bat go hit that like button comment on these videos and smash that bell <laughs> notification in order of back to school month we're going back to school what we do best checking cameras today so that escalated quickly i mean that really got out of hand fast <laughs> Dude, that's gonna be 140s. Yeah, that's a good buck. Dude, free Elmer Fudd is back hey, here again. This guy is consistent, man. I give him props. Oh wow, there she is. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, 80 whole baby. inches. Yeah. <gasps> there he is again. Consistent. <laughs> All right, I've never said there's for Mr. Consistent, Mr. Consistent, baby. That buck is a really good buck. Yeah, that that's, is a good buck. that's a shooter. I would shoot it, yeah. That's 130s. We're on our last loop of our cameras, so we're going to go check those. Last spot of the day. Are we going to find... We haven't found a good one yet today. Well, look at this. See that? 108, that's not bad. Something slight. Yeah, I'm looking pretty good today. The 2023 vacation has officially began. It's Monday morning right now. A little bit warmer than it has been, but I'm still pretty hopeful. Uh, back home, they've been like moving really well, so I'm hoping here's no different. I checked uh, the three cameras I set out here when we were here in October. Give it till about noonish and then get down and I'm probably gonna move about 200 yards for the evening set to go uh, check Christian's camera <laughs> this is what happens when you when you show up and the tents already set up and <laughs> oh my god I'm sure you guys have been so hard at work home cooked meal I've been working all damn day <laughs> working on your you know damn why you took PTO did yeah I was working on watching season three of the boys on the morning of day two my brother Mason arrived to camp and he immediately got in between a rutting buck and a hot doe
Yes. Oh. Shoulder. This way. Come to deer camp, boys. Uh, I just woke up. It's like 7:30. My brother calls me and says, "I shot a big one." So, first day that it's actually been cold at all here. And I think the deer are going to start falling. So um, Mason said he hit this big buck in the shoulder, and I'm going to go down and help him track it. So even when you don't have a tag, see this? I got one of these. And I got this big mama jama. Even when I don't have a tag, it is dope to be able to be here with everybody else when the deer are dying. So now Mason just called me, and he said, hey, I was following blood because I was walking back to my truck and I found the sucker and he's the biggest buck I ever shot. And Mason's biggest buck before this was like mid 130s. So he just shot a beast with a bow. And this is his first year, second year bow hunting. And he just shot a Pope and Young on public land. That is the call you want to wake up to boys. But we're going to go drag this deer out. Um, I'm pumped up. That didn't take very long, young man. Not at all. You shoot you a nice 10 point this morning? He's average. <laughs> you get my... well, it's always a good thing when you're uh, when you're walking in and you ain't blood trailing, you're just packing one out, son. Happy Veterans Day. We're we gonna do the old over the shoulder? We're, yeah, we probably can if we got it. Is this the biggest buck you ever shot? I think so. Especially for sure with a bow. Oh, yeah. How's it feel to be tagged out? Feels magical. Did you just pick this spot on a map and then you just showed up? Yeah, so I wanted to try something new. You know, not have my uncle or brother tell me where to sit for once. <laughs> yeah. Found a spot. Thought it looked pretty good. Didn't end up going as far in there as I pinned on Onyx. I stopped like 150, 200 yards short of where I wanted to go because it was kind of open mm -hmm. and it was, there was a drainage. So I was like, all right, this looks good. I'll stop right Did it look good? <laughs> in my vans, the old skate high zone. Why are you hunting in those? Because I'm built different. <laughs> my goodness. I was like, there's no way I'm finding this deer. Come up here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what do you think of that? <laughs> Dude, that is a stud. Dude. Look, look where I hit him. Through the shoulder. You hit him right in the heart. Dude, that beam is 25 inches long. That's a stud. Look at that sucker. Dude, you hammered him too. Yeah. Dude. Perfect shot placement. He didn't go far. Good morning, Hunter's Advantage. <laughs> <laughs> So last night, I got down here to where we hunt. I'm not gonna tell you where it's at. Next, wanted to try a new spot. Never been here or close to this area. Found a spot I liked. Got on Onyx this morning. Was walking to the spot. I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna go as far as I thought I would. Sat down in a relatively open area considering the place we're at. But uh, right at daylight, I saw a head bob down real quick. It was a doe. And then this guy was behind her. They piddled around for like an hour. Another doe came out behind me. The original doe blew at the doe behind me. They come out about 30 yards in front of me and I gave him the business. Heart shot. Well, I went to the spot where I shot him just to see if there was any blood at all. Cause I thought I hit him right in the shoulder. Ended up seeing blood and I was like, all right, well I'll wait on my brother and everyone to get here. And, uh, pull up pin to my truck, start walking back to my <clears throat> truck and there's just blood everywhere. I was like, okay, I got to follow this. It's like going in the same direction as my truck. And, uh, I'm walking out, following the blood kind of, and he's laying like 150 yards from the stand. So yeah, you called me and we're like, Oh, I found him. 
I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, and he's just a, a stud. That's your biggest deer? Yeah, for probably. sure. I mean, I you, say. you got another really big one with a rifle, but this deer is framey. I'd say framey. This, one's, this one's bigger. I, I mean, frame, frame wide. Two, one. No, over the phone. Oh, okay. You good? Yeah. This is what packing a deer out in an epic rainstorm looks like. <sighs> There's nothing better than dragging out a Pope and Young on public land in the middle of a rainstorm. It doesn't, especially with your brother. It does not get any better than that. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for creating these creatures that are a method for people to come together because these things are incredible. Alright Carol, so everybody's nice and rested after this morning. How are you guys feeling for tonight? I think it's going down tonight. We didn't really have good weather the last... Yesterday was hot, it was like 80 degrees. Like yeah. 70, 80. Not ideal. Not ideal for fat people walking back far like us. <laughs> so... But tonight it's going to go down. Honestly, I have enough confidence to the guys grab their bows. Because this is what's about to happen. See that top right dot right up there? That heart? I've actually really started to enjoy this part of it. You turn it into the old man stage where you're just like, yep, yeah, it's not so much about the hunting anymore. More about the... Uh, yeah, already tagged out. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, these VPAs, single bevels, you got to create a an edge on this other side. And when you do, dude, it's it's creepy how sharp they can get. I resharpened it and it was good. I'm kind of chilling at camp just shooting and doing some work that I need to get done and shooting my bow so it's a it's still a good time man I am living vicariously through those guys so I am nice and well rested and I'm hoping here soon we are dragging out some mature dominant big giant whitetail bucks so I'm just chilling at camp, boy. I'm the camp chef now. I'm probably going to cook up some sausages for the guys. And hopefully they'll have some good news when they come back. About three more hours of sitting. So I wanted to give you guys an update. See you later. Well, headed to pick up Carol right now. I didn't see a dang thing this morning. I think we're trying to get in the chips and hopefully we can get it done early or we don't have to stay back there. Did you see anything? Nope. What about you? No. Not a dang thing. Gloating much? Just enjoying. About ready? <laughs> Everybody has heard that old adage, it's called hunting, not killing. And especially on public land, sometimes you aren't going to see the best movement. 
So after a few days of warm weather and no deer activity, a cold front finally moved in and on day four of our rutcation, we finally started to catch some momentum. It just happened. It just happened. That's my that's my first buck since 2021. So went on a pretty good little dry spell. It's my first public buck since 2020. So yeah, pretty good little dry spell. It's 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 just been a crazy week. You want to talk about quality over quantity? That's that's been the definition of uh, of this week. Before yesterday, I seen only one doe, and it was like an itty-bitty doe. And then yesterday morning, about 7 o'clock, it was the first, like, good cold front we've had all week. And I don't, I didn't range him, but I thought he was 30, because I'm kind of on this slope. And, uh, so I put my 30 pin on him, and I shoot high. And at first I thought I backstrapped him, like, that high, because I'm shooting really heavy arrows. And, uh... And I'm, like, I'm thinking, oh no, like I just now blew it again. And he runs about 50 yards straight away from me. And just stops and like kind of hunkers up. And like he's almost like trying to cough. And I'm like, I think I double lumped him. And it's pretty tall grass right there. And I think I seen him like lay down. We'll see. So I think he's dead, just probably 80 yards right there. But I'm not for sure. But uh, if not, we got a whole camp full of guys that are... Uh, that would probably be willing to help at least look for him if not we'll call a dog but i really think he's dead. we got him me, me and peyton were right on the same struggle bus but god kind of lifted me you know made, made me get off at a at an early stop i guess we'll take you along for the recovery i wasn't trying to make this a family affair i was just trying to wait a little bit and now i'm going to ruin y'all's evening hunt He was about right here and then he took off that way and there's like that little cluster of trees right there and I think he bedded down just on the outskirts of those two last trees. Huh? Yeah. Is there any blood yet? I haven't found any blood. I, I looked earlier this morning but I'm not going to find my arrow because my arrow hit a rock and just went straight up in the air somewhere. There's a pasture though. I mean, I think we've given him enough time we can go walk where I last seen him, but... Yeah, it wouldn't hurt to find the blood. Yeah. You feel it right here? Um, I'm pretty confident because he... I'm just like the only... I remember this tree right here. Don't worry. I marked our location so we can get back to the spot, okay? Okay. Hold on, X. All right. Okay, Mason. <laughs> I don't. Was he face up? Down? I mean, he, he came from over there and walked right here, and he, I waited till I get past this little shrub. What'd you shoot him for? Huh? Twenty yards. Thirty, and that's why I shot him high. Okay. I didn't know. Which way did he? He he went over there, and I'm pretty sure I seen him fall up there, but I I didn't. I wasn't for sure. Awesome. 
because I looked for blood earlier this morning and I couldn't find any. Oh my goodness. Actually? Maybe. Do you see him or no? I do. Do you really? Yeah. You swear to God? Yeah. Where at? I do. Where at? Know, Tell me. Walking, keep walking. About oh. 15 yards. <laughs> oh. I'll take him. Uh, maybe not even that, but I don't care. Hey, oh, yeah. <laughs> nice work. He didn't go very far. He didn't. No, sir. I'll be nice. Well, he said he's pretty sure he's seeing fall right here. Yeah. I'll be honest, I thought he was a little bigger, but I would have shot him anyways. It was you or me. Well, I'd have shot him. thank you guys for this big, long expedition. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, really <laughs> Gotta get him gutted. Well, hell, boys. You gonna gut him in here or we going? I don't care. Get him up. If you're gonna hunt here, I wouldn't gut him here. Uh, I, don't, I don't really care. He needs to. Uh, Carol said he was going to hunt here. No, I wouldn't do that. Oh, well, hell. Congrats, man. Well, thanks. It's exciting. Anytime somebody kills something, it's exciting. Nobody's killed a slick yet. Oh, he's nice. There you go, Jake. Listen, it's been a while. It's been literally two years. Nice guts. Yep. That looks like coffee. That's look like what happened to me at Walmart the other day. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say that was my exactly what happened yesterday out of the tree for me. Here's we can see the truck. Well, guys, thanks. We want to fight them off, man. Would anyone want to try some green chili? Green chili? Uh huh. Is that the stuff you've been laughing at that Richie ate? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. This isn't that hot stuff. <laughs> what he ate. Justin will try. He likes hot stuff. Bring some of it over here. You got a bowl? Uh, or a plate? You got a <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh. Oh. Never mind, you ain't getting any. <laughs> Where's your plate? <laughs> Let me get one. <laughs> We love you, Tony. Oh no, God. you don't. <laughs> 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 <laughs>